I'm Dan Ackerman and we are here taking a look at the Samsung Series 5. Now we've looked at Series 5 laptops before and I'm sure we're going to look at them again. This 13 inch model however is a little bit different in that it is the first one we're seeing with Windows 8 and a touchscreen on it uh, which means that Samsung has taken its existing Series 5 line which has been perfectly nice and updating it so it goes toe to toe with pretty much every other current laptop out there. The nice thing about this particular system is it sits right in the middle of kind of the price band. We've seen a lot of 13 inch Windows 8 laptops that are $1,300, even $1,600. Very nice machines. We've seen a bunch of Windows 8 laptops that are under $600 and for the money that you spend they're actually pretty good although a little bit more plasticky not quite as high end. Uh, the Series 5 here even though Samsung has higher end lines like the Series 7 and the Series 9 uh, this one is still made almost entirely of metal feels very solid uh, nice brushed metal sort of accents on the back of the lid on the keyboard tray here you definitely would not be embarrassed to pull this out at a coffee shop uh, even though it's Samsung's mid-price line. This particular configuration uh, has got a Core i5 processor. It's got a standard 500 gig hard drive with a little SSD cache on it. And it's 850, which is a pretty reasonable price, especially when you consider uh, the design and the construction and the workmanship uh, is definitely a little bit above average from what you normally get for that price. Uh, there are a couple of things that make this feel like a little bit more of a budget product. Number one is the screen resolution is only 1366 by 768. That still works for a 13-inch laptop any bigger, and it sort of starts to look a little bit dated. And you've also got the touchpad with the separate left and right mouse buttons. In most modern or more high-end laptops, they're all moving towards that single uh, pad, click pad design where the buttons are sort of integrated right into it. Other than that, however, uh, you pretty much get all the bells and whistles that you'd expect from a current Windows 8 laptop, including the, the 10 input touchscreen. Uh, for $850, bucks, uh, you are probably not going to find something that's quite as solid, quite as roadworthy as this. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Samsung Series 5.